God bless you and welcome to Texas Honda Channel. In today's video, we're gonna be taking this intake manifold off the K20A3. We're gonna be modifying this RBC intake manifold to fit the K20A3, and I'm gonna show you how to do that in detail. So if you're new here, definitely click that subscribe button, and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. All right, one of the first things you're gonna need is an intake gasket. Here is the part number, MS96477. That part number is for this intake gasket, and this works perfectly fine. It's a K20A3 gasket. And we're basically just going to make sure all the holes line up. If they don't, flip the gasket around like this. Um, we'll also take some of these bolts here just to make sure that it's lined up right. Then we're going to take a Sharpie. We're basically just going to trace an outline here. And that is going to be our line to cut. What we'll originally do is start off with just a straight cut, just straight down, and then we can shape it with a grinder disc. Now that we've got that, you can see really well where we're going to be shaping. Uh, before we get started with anything else, there's this piece right here on the bottom. I'm just using a cheapo ratchet. We're actually gonna turn that because when we go to cut, you don't wanna waste your uh, cutting disc on this piece. So we're just gonna turn that away. But I'm gonna go ahead and get the cutter. Make sure to put on some safety glasses. We're gonna go ahead and get to cutting. I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, here it is so far. I do have a little bit more to trim to kind of clean this up. We'll cut a little bit off here, and then we will smooth this out using just a little grinder disc to kind of shape it, and it'll be good to go. So there it is, looks pretty good. This should work perfectly. Uh, I will have to go through and clean the inside out. We don't want those metal shavings in the engine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this K20A3 intake manifold out. We've got 12 millimeter bolts, some connectors, fuel lines, vacuum lines, stuff like that. Once I get that out, then we will see if we even have enough clearance to put it in here. We may have to actually notch this, uh, but we'll go ahead and take this out and then we'll see what's up. Okay, so here's the RBC manifold next to the PRB manifold. Now this is a K20A3 manifold from the SI, so it doesn't have the butterfly valve like a base model RSX would. Um, so these are actually a little bit better, but not that great. This one here flows tremendous. So these have seen seven to 10 wheel horsepower gains by putting them on with the right throttle combination. With porting, it could be even more. That's just bolting it in though. Um, the biggest benefit you'll see is on boost with these, uh, but they're really good manifolds. So it looks like this one's already been like cleaned up in the ports or something at some point in time. So I went to test fit this manifold and it didn't want to fit obviously because it's a little bit longer. So I went ahead and got the hammer out and started just banging away and test fitting and banging and test fitting till it finally went into its spot and has a little bit of gap. I didn't have to cut anything off except for on the intake manifold, this little piece right here by the throttle body. Uh, you can see I went ahead and just chopped that piece off. But this is what it looks like all cleaned up. Um, we're gonna go over to the car, put this in, and I'll show you more over there. All right, so this piece right here, that's where the upper radiator hose goes. So that's why we had to chop it off of this manifold right here. So if you're using a K24, it's not gonna have this. The radiator upper hose goes back here. So they do sell an adapter if you ever decide to cut one of these and then uh, use it on a K24, you will have to get an adapter. I will link it in the description. 
but I don't have to since it's a K20A3. The K20A2s are the same way. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and slide this on. All right, got the manifold bolted on with the new gasket. I did have to widen the holes a little bit on the fuel rail to fit on here for whatever reason, um, but got it all bolted up. And the K20 A3 throttle will not fit, but I have a K24 A4 or A8 um, cable throttle, and it does indeed fit on here. The only issue is you have to notch just a little bit on the side of the intake manifold. Um, you don't have to do this. You can just get a adapter plate from Jack Spania. I'm actually currently waiting on the shipping for that, uh, but I need my car to drive. So I'm just going to put this on temporarily and I notched a little bit on this so that way we can get the throttle cable hooked up. All right, got it all back together. Map sensor, none of the wiring needed cut or anything like that. Basically just delumed it a little bit so it could reach. And got this ghetto bracket here going on. And what's next is the most ghetto, but uh, don't judge me. This is only temporary. I did a Felpro gasket. What I mean is a cardboard gasket, just because it was having an idle issue where it was revving up. Due to the air idle control valve, I don't know what was going on, so I just blocked the air idle control valve off with this makeshift gasket. Keep in mind, this is temporary until the thing from Jack Spania gets here, and then this will all be changed. The throttle that I'm getting will have a bracket, so I won't have to have this mess going on here, but it does work. I bumped the idle up right here. You can see that's the idle screw. It's a seven millimeter and then an Allen key and I bumped it up to where the idle's at about a thousand. So I'm gonna go ahead and start it up and let you hear it. Keep in mind though, this is only temporary until I get the other piece. And it runs pretty smooth. It has really good throttle response. The check engine light, I have an O2 sensor downstream light and the uh, evap but that will go away soon enough once i get the other stuff uh, we'll be good to go but there it is working i guess the question i will get the most is do you need a retune highly recommend a retune i don't even have Honda data in this um, the retune is where you're going to make most of your power increase but just putting it on you will feel a difference uh, especially on a k20 a3 where it just needs to breathe um, but definitely a retune. If you have the K20A3 with the butterfly valves, uh, the check engine light will be on for that and it'll run like crap. So you definitely have to have a retune to shut that stuff off. But since this don't have it, it works perfectly fine. But I'm gonna take it down the road and we'll see exactly how it's doing. I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's doing really good. It rides real smooth and has good throttle response. It definitely seemed to have picked up a little bit more power. It's barely taken anything to accelerate now. Before it took a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get on it just a little bit. Get up to the speed limit here.
huge difference over the way this car was when I went and parked it in the garage a few days ago. So, uh, yeah, I'm really impressed with how everything's turned out. And, um, yep, we're going to head back to the house and go over more when we get there. But I'm just super impressed with how this is. There you have it for the RBC intake manifold install. Now I will have another video of the Jack Spania throttle body spacer and throttle going on this. Um, also, I'll be doing a uh, wrinkle red valve cover install as well. So definitely want to stay tuned for that. And yeah, it's definitely making some progress for sure. And it rides so much better with these Max Peating Rod coilovers and I can still adjust them to make it a little bit smoother. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, but uh, it wasn't bad at all, like really good. So it just needs a proper alignment and the right throttle body adapter stuff, and it'll be good to go. But uh, I hope this video helps somebody that wanted to put an RBC intake manifold on their K20A3 uh, in the EP3. And it does have some clearance after you beat it with a hammer. But uh, yeah, I hope this video has helped someone. And if it did, please hit that like button, share the video. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. But that's basically it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video. But before I get off here, I just wanted to say this. I mentioned there will be a free Gideon Bible download in the description for Apple or Android. Uh, everyone should know the word of God, what Jesus came to do. He came to save the sinner and set the captive free. He died for you and me, went up to that cross, died and defeated death. Three days later, rose from the grave and now has the keys to death. Anyone who believes in his finished work at the cross will be saved. If you have addiction or bondage or anything that is holding you down or you don't feel loved, God says he loves you so much so that he gave his only begotten son. And we are saved by grace through faith, lest any man should boast. So it's not of our works. It's of our faith in Jesus and what he did. So I just wanted to let you guys know the good news that everyone has a chance. So repent, turn from your sin and trust in the Lord. But that is basically it for this video. And until next time, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.